in the audio here and then see if you can hear me. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you guys on a Sunday so close to Christmas. Okay. Oh, let me get this started. PM Artist Studios, you guys. This is what we are going to explore today, some of their beautiful stencils. Let's see who's here. Cheryl, we have our illustrious leader. Um, nice to see you, Cheryl and Linda. Hi. And we have two Lindas, Linda from Portland, Oregon, Linda Lambert. Actually, we have three Lindas in here, right? And Marta, hello. Nice to see you here. And let's see if I can. Ah, and Mariah's here with uh, PM Artist Studio. That's who we're going to talk about today. This. Uh, Oh, hello, Noreen. Thank you for coming. Noreen is one of my inspired members. If you want to become a member of this channel, you absolutely can, and you get access to perks and giveaways. And the more members we get, the more special uh, things we're going to do. So um, please become a member of this channel. So you can do it for as low as like $5 a month. But Mariah, that's her right there. She is one of the co-creators of PM Artist Studios, and sh they go live on their channel as well. Um, you can check that out, uh, PM Artist Studio. I believe that's just the name of their channel. And then pmartiststudio.com is the name of their website. And if you are interested in any of the stencils that we're using today, um, you need to go to materfan10 or type in the code materfan10 to get a promotional 10% off your stencils today. So that's, that's, that's that. These two ladies are fun to watch and they go live three times a week on their channel. And so that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Um, I wanted to share with you, I have did, the first of all, the stencils we did last week, or I mean the uh, cards we did last week, they all sold. So I literally could not even show you the results because I already mailed them off. <laughs> But boy, did we have fun making some cards last week. And this week, I think we're going to make a few too. And um, I wanted to share with you, um, there was one that I made in the middle of the week using, so I kind of got into this bird thing. And here's one of the ones. So here is one of the bird cards I made last week. And I just, I don't know why I just got really excited to do some bird things and one of it one of the reasons is because that's the stencil that inspired me. So here's one of the cards. This one I I don't I don't think I've even showed it on social media, which is why it hasn't sold yet. These cards are selling as fast as I show them. And if you're interested in having a card, let me know. I can make one for you or if you see one you like. So I've been exploring more of these on, on um, canvas. This is a gallery wrap canvas. You can see I'm not done with it. This is a work in progress. But here's a stencil I did. And then I used this um, really beautiful paper to create like kind of a feathery effect here. And this is a gel print in the back. And this bird is part of the PM Artist Studio line as well. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, 
Yeah, so I'm kind of excited. It's just been a fun little project. This one is a work in pro progress. I'm going to probably finish the sides and do something, you know, fun with this. Thank you, Anne. So yeah, this is a fun little project and um, I've been just kind of experimenting with some of their stencils and seeing what I can create. Let me show you some other. They have these portrait stencils of women and men. And these have been really fun. Just decided to kind of play around and see what I could do. Um, this guy's name is Jamal. <laughs> but I just love the, the grungy, this is a mask and this is, um, created by Susan Dufresne, and she's um, an artist, a fellow artist friend, and she created this through PM Artist Studios, which, so I really like that one. This one, I really liked, um, I just think that one has a pretty flow to the, the whole thing. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to finish these. Um, here's one I did with Jamal as well. And he has his little notes and this has like eight layers. So it, even if it, it might look pretty um, simplistic from this angle or whatever, but actually this is, this was a challenging piece right here. There's the paints, lots of painting and stencil work on this one. Um, spray paint and regular paint and gel print and all kinds of stuff. So this was really fun too. So there you go. And if you are a insp um, inspired member of this channel or up, I'm going to be doing a stencil giveaway. And this is something I didn't even announce ahead of time, but I wanted to let you know I will be giving away one set of the PM Artist Studio stencils today um, to a an inspired member. So if you want to participate in some of these uh, I do giveaways for everyone, but especially my Inspired members, they get little perks here and there. And so if you want to become an Inspired member, you can. All right. So this is, <laughs> this one really, um, here's this challenge. This was a challenge for me. And, aw, that's so sweet. Thank you. So this one is layers of gel print, paint. Ah, Rocket Sauce, thanks for the donation. Always here to um, send me a little love through the donation tab. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so this one is another one, A Mask by Susan DeFresne. Defresne and uh, this was one of her portraits. I just used uh, this TCW stencil butter for this, and then... Um, you know, my balloon rolls. And then we have, uh, this is my uh, beautiful gel prints here. And I'm not sure if she's done or not, but she's pretty, this is on a canvas panel. So I really, this is, you know, totally frameable. And I, I'm trying to decide, the thing is, is it's hard to show in a photograph. So it's sometimes it's hard for people to buy things that they can't really see that great. So. But yeah, I'm working on her and trying to decide if she's done or not, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one. Another inspiration by the PM Artist Studios stencils. So, okay. Lastly, I wanna show you some of these stencils. And, um, oh, Susan, I'm so glad you're here. You're welcome. These are some of the designs. This is how you, get the stencils when they show up they show up in this wax paper and each one has you know what the stencil is what you're going to get and um, i just put a little clip on mine and then these are the masks and stencils but for example uh, one thing i'm going to say this is my um opinion and you may find it to be different but um, these stencils are really delicate um, they're very they're not like regular stencils in that you can't just treat them like crap. <laughs> you do have to be a little bit careful. I just want to set this on something solid so you can kind of see. Um, but yeah, they are very delicate. So when you're wiping them off, you have to be careful. I have this one I did already break 
you can see just by wiping it off over here but part that's part of what makes all these beautiful and intricate lines is these the delicacy of these stencils and you don't find that very often um, and these stencils are really unique as well the masks and stencils and here's this is the set of three violet venus and vivian i guess you can decide uh, which one is which <laughs> But I, I like to think that she's Violet for some reason. I don't know. But I love that lady. And so this is the Portraits Volume 1 masks. They come in different sizes, if I'm not, if I am correct. And then here's Portraits Volume 2, Jamal, Jacques, and Julius. Now this one, I'm pretty sure I know who, who's who. I believe that's Jamal. Uh, and, you know, we all met him earlier. And then I believe this is uh, Jacques. I don't I could be wrong but just because of the beanie and everything it just made me think of and then Julius which my partner said that looks kind of like a Jesus I don't know <laughs> but yeah anyway so these are some of the portraits these are the newest stencils that Susan has coming out so they're just fun and I am going to play today with the nested circles also you get all these little freebies you know sometimes i noticed in here there's just a lot of little freebies like the the, the cutouts of the this is made from upo paper actually and so a lot of times you get the little cutouts too which makes it fun so um trust me if you're doing gel prints you can find a use for those um, the negative space of that and I think that's all like here's the negative space for the birds well, I won't even take it out but so I we're gonna mess with those um, these are the these are those and the other ones we're gonna mess with is let's see it shows you a picture of them this is the big set by the way so this is the big set today we're gonna probably do the smaller set and I want to find some birds for us today to play with as well. Let's look at my little box here. Also the leaves, I was thinking, because they're so pretty. Look at the leaves here. It shows you the shape of the stencil on the back. So this is the funky leaf mask set of three. I might want to play with those, so I'm going to set those aside. Oh, A Murder of Ravens and Crows. So this is where I got my... This is where I got the... For that. So that's where that came from. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, I think it's a natural pairing. She says, um, I love how you combine the nesting circles with the birds. Well, I think it's a natural pairing. There's also like, um, net. she actually has like a nest, actual nest, but I like this one too. Look at that. Pretty cool. And again, if you want to see what they look like, you can look at the picture on the back. And so there's some birds we could play with. Here's the, oh yeah, here's the set of six actual um, birds and this is what they look like so there's a bunch of little birds in here and these are the ones that we're gonna probably play with on for cards I just think they're really cute and so we're gonna play with those and I know you guys are probably like wanting to see some art at this point this is the bigger set so I'm not gonna mess around with those today and then it's just fun because you um, there's lots of little like twisty electrical wire strips. This is just a fun little thing to play with right here. And I like that as well. And then let's see, little I got a little pocket of extras. Oh, dragonflies. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then Susan, um, she created a, a, a set of four small eggs, which, I mean, wouldn't that be adorable for, you know, Easter or spring? And, um, you know, we might decide to 
play with those. This is actually um, what I'm going to give away is a set of eggs today to my inspired member. And if only one inspired member is here, then that's the way that goes. But I'm going to give away one of those. And this is the nest in eggs, which it's so cool. That's a small set. Look at the nest. It's hard to see maybe. Look, isn't that amazing? I love this so much. So excited to try this. So that might have to go to the top of our pile over here. And then, you know, pines, crescents, oh, tomato slices. That's going to be probably another upcoming episode. And here's the funky leaves, nested circles. That's the one we're going to use today, the smaller ones. And yeah, so that is it. I hope that that is inspiring to see some fun new tools. You know, we always get, it's always fun to get inspired. And these are some of the other stencils I have, just in case I want some different patterns thrown in there as well. So let me just clear off this area. One thing is, um, so how are you guys doing, by the way? Sorry, I'm kind of just caught up in the world of stencils over here. How are you guys all doing over there? I'm sure Cheryl's taking good care of you because that's what she does. <laughs> Hello, Jan. Jan's also one of my inspired members. And actually, Jan, I think, is a six month member. Um, okay, so we can start with backgrounds like this, but you know, I really want also, my thought is. I really enjoy making the actual gel print a lot. It's one of the best parts. So I, while we could actually just pull from one of the gel prints I have, like I really like this one. That would be a fun one to do something over. Um, I'm, I just want to make one. I hope you guys don't mind watching. Um, so you're welcome, Susan. Yes. OK, here we go. I cleaned my gel plate off, so, oh, scratch that. I didn't clean this one off. You do have to take some care with these eventually because they're start. this one's starting to get like crusty around the edges and then eventually paint won't even go on there and then it's, I mean, I do like the artifacting, but there's a, a time, there's a time when it, it's too much and, and I've reached that with my other gel plates, so I'm, the way that you hand, uh, clean these off is with a little warm water and soap and then patience or I have actually I mean you, you can try to use like titanium white is a good one to just slather it on there and let it sit for a little and then use um, some of the um, deli paper to pull it off but I'm at the I'm at the point where that's not even working so you do have to clean these off eventually it's just how it goes all right, let's get some Sprite spring colors going on here because of course, you know, I'm gonna use my metallics and because that's the way it goes. But I'm, I've just been kind of thinking, I know it's winter, so I'm kind of thinking some wintry, springy, wintry colors, some, you know, some because that's where we're at in the season. So I'm gonna start with, let's see, a little bit of the quinacridone do I have quinacridone violet or magenta over here? I do. So, yeah, I also, um, I agree. Once I clean it off, then you just put a few drops of mineral oil or, um, I hate to say it, but I just use olive oil on mine and they work better. But I haven't even been storing these properly lately. I've just been very, very, very lazy. So I'm. Just, this is no surprise that these aren't functioning at the top performance level right now. <laughs> but sometimes just getting ready for the live and, and then at night after you work and all that stuff. So this is um, Interference Gold and we did the Quinacridone Magenta. And then I'm gonna put 
some little fresh green gold at the bottom of here. And then I think we should do some regular gold. And also maybe a few drops of uh, Indian yellow hue up here. Whoops, that was way more than I had intended. And I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna actually start with, I don't wanna start with a green, cause that will like, and I'm gonna start with the neutral colors in here, the center here and kind of swirl just to get that spread a little bit. And then that, I'm gonna spread the magenta around. And then it's a little bit more mustardy than I had hoped, but let me see if I can get some light over here. And then the green will go into the yellow. And this is kind of how you can get contrasting colors. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not excited about this color up here though. I'm really not excited. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then lay down. I cannot remember like how I did this the first time. So um, please bear with me. If you don't clean these off right away, sometimes you can get things stuck to them, but I've been trying to be a good girl. Trying is the operative word here. And then I'm gonna use some deli paper to pick this up. Oh, Jan, you did not get, I'm not in trouble. Jan, I'm not in trouble because I sent you a little, a little surprise in the mail. Jan sent me a little surprise in the mail, so now I'm sending her a little surprise in the mail and now she's mad. <laughs> but that's how it goes. It's so pretty. Maybe not the color pattern I was going for, but you just can't hardly be mad at that, right? And then let's just leave that on here for a second. And let's grab some birds. These are so cute. These little birds are so adorable. Usually I'm definitely like a, a three. I like things that have threes. So I feel like I'm gonna cut off their tail if I don't pick this stencil up. Well, we're just gonna put twos right now. See what happens. You know, that's the thing. If you don't like it, you can always just start over. I'm gonna do a little bit of titanium white right here and maybe a little bit of, this is like manganese, manganese blue hue. One thing I do notice is because they're so delicate, these stencils, you can really get a good, um, you can roll over them and they still make a pretty design. You know how sometimes if stencils are too thick, they don't do that. So this works really good for that. And this is just to like give the initial impression. All right, maybe, not, maybe that didn't. You know, today, I'm gonna be honest with you guys today. Do you ever have those days where you're just not very creative? <laughs> Today was kind of one of those days and I'm like, I, I, 
you know, we all have them. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I actually going to do for my life today? And I've been thinking about it for days. I know I wanted to show off these stencils, but other than that, I had like little, literally no ideas. And I hate it when that happens. I'm not, not extremely, feeling extremely creative today. But it's good to just practice even when you're not feeling that way because sometimes the most beautiful things can happen anyway. It's like a practice, right? It's like playing basketball or whatever. You don't just run out on the court and make a gazillion baskets. Sometimes you have to actually, you know, you just practice. <laughs> and that's when all the happy accidents can happen and all that stuff. But you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to see if the light here will... if I can make the light so you can see. I'm drawing this off. And then just to pull this up off of here, I'm gonna just put a little bit of this gold. And if it's not dry, then you're gonna end up with some of the color coming off on the pattern, but whatever. Sometimes you just have to start, right? And the inspiration will come. And then sometimes you have bad art days like I do. I don't know. Everybody thinks that every time I sit down and create something, it's amazing and that's just not true. But I will say I'm having just the most amazing time with these cards. All right, so this is really pretty, and um, maybe not quite as much color as I had hoped, but the cool part about this is you can take, let's say we want to add some color to this. Let me find a good stunt or a good uh, color here. We can take like one of these. This is the TCW stencil butter. And I will say these stencils are really easy to use the stencil butter with, very addicting actually. So then I just place it back over. And this is a, will also like add some of the details back in that maybe I lost. Now the one thing is when you're doing this is with any stencil. When you're doing these stencil butters, it's best to kind of go in one direction. If you smear it all over the place, uh, it has a tendency to go underneath the stencil. But if you just stay in one direction, that seems to really help. You don't have to be perfect, but... And then the more like ridges and stuff that you have, the more texture you're going to have. So if you want something that has a lot of texture, you can do that. See, it's not, it's impossible to go completely in one direction, but some of these little details. Now watch as I pick this up. Now I can also burnish this with like some gold once it dries. Oh, now I have a cute little bird. And then this, I turn it over. This is how I clean these turn it over and I just roll it off on some deli paper and I have a print as well. This is like a fun little way to have a little extra print over here. So there's that birdie. We'll set that over here. And then let's do the other one. So I, I could do them in different colors, which would be Kind of cute, maybe. So let's find the other color. Well, if you can see that. No, 
ah, we can do one in gold or since this is such a bold, um, it turned out way more red than I had imagined. Maybe we'll do some red. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. And this. These are just a cute little fluffy bird right here. And like I said, once this dries, I can just apply a little bit of gold, a gold paint, just rub it over the top. I have a real um, a little video on Instagram showing how to do that or on my Facebook page if you are part of my Facebook community. Aww. And again, I'm going to roll off this little birdie right here. And uh, if there's a lot of product on, there you go. That's how it's going to look. But you'd be shocked at the things, <laughs> even these roll-off papers that seem like, oh, well, that didn't do much. I, I've done so many little things with the roll-off papers because um, this is still a lot of colors and patterns and bling, so there's, a lot, there's still a lot of things that you can do with that. Last week, the video that we did, the live we did, I showed you some of the things we can do with roll-off papers, so... Don't just feel like you discard them because something didn't turn out exactly as you planned. This is the beginning stages, and um, I can always come back in here with, you know, any number of things. Like I'm thinking already, I'm like, I have this paper. Maybe I could line the edges. I could cut and line the edges of this card with some of this paper to bring a little bit of interest in here, a um, little bit of bling. Um, Mariah is saying a damp cloth will work to uh, wash off the... And I, I like to use, because I don't keep damp cloths around necessarily, I'll use these uh, wet wipes or whatever. So, you know, the damp cloth is how I ripped the other one. So I find that like rolling it off for me is easier. Um, but yeah, if you don't get some of this off over time, a lot of these little delicate pieces will get covered up, filled in. And then at that point, you can use them as part of a mixed media project. You can just use, but if you take good care of these, these are going to last for a long time. Ta da So that's the little birdies. Here's a, there's a couple other little birds here too. I like that one. Let's try again. I think we should. All right, let's try again. So this one's maybe a little bit more bold than I had imagined and that's totally okay. Okay, so I'm thinking actually I'm thinking would maybe it'll be fun to use over the top of one of these gel prints I already have. This one is a music notes. And you can find a lot of these a lot of times you can find this um Sorry, I was reading the comments. What's on the napkin looks cool. Um, do I recommend soaking my stencils in the water as soon as I finish them? Well, yes. I mean, technically, if I had like a little bin over here, that would be a great way to just soak them in there. And this is Yupo paper. It's really, it's pretty strong. So yeah, it's actually a great way to do. It. And, and I'm just not that organized. <laughs> That's the truth of it. I wish I was a little more organized, and I'm just literally not. But if I was, yeah, that's actually a really great way to do it. This would actually be fun to, let me, I'm gonna turn this in half here.
And if so if you don't have a gel plate and you just want to order or if you already have some of the um what is it called? The the water soluble spray paint or the water-based spray paint by Montana. I have that listed in the description box. That's some of my favorite favorite because That's so cute. Look at that. And then where's the little twisty stencil I had? Because that, here we go. The little twisty thing here. Let me find it. Well, you know, one thing I would ask if any of you have any um, suggestions for how to organize stencils so you can find them, I would love to know because I feel like it's one of the things I'm kind of really not being able to figure out and I find it incredibly annoying that I cannot figure I like Oh, how cute is that? Actually, I think I'm just gonna do this. Even though there is one with eggs, but I or an actual nest. I really like this look right here. I'm gonna use one of the spray paints I'm talking about. Let me find. Um, so there's a couple I really like. I go to the white, which is this. This is the water-based odorless indoor use spray paint by Montana. Um, I really like the semi-transparent. Um, the white is pretty because it um, makes a really delicate look. But the transparent has a very soft look to it, so it kind of depends on what you're going for. I just spilled this all over. A three ring notebook. See, I need that. Maybe, so it's just, so, so Cheryl, you just slip your stencils into the clear plastic sleeve, store them in a three ring notebook, and tabs between the styles. Oh my God. How organized is that? Some days I feel like I'm just lucky to be alive. <laughs> Does that sound stupid? But I swear, I swear on everything. I feel that way at times. I'm just like, oh, that sounds like a lot of organization. Although, I mean, I like to work in a very organized environment. So that's the funny part is that's, that's my preference. But, um, I'm like terrible about following through some of that. Although if you saw my house, everything is organized. I don't know what I'm saying, but all right, let's just do this. This is so cute. All right, here we go. I'm going to hold this down. Whoops. This maybe gives it kind of like a little snowy effect. Now this one just flew up like while I was doing it, it just flew up. So it's are hard to get up. It's so cute. And the thing about it is This is not the end result. This is just the beginning. 
and I could take part of this um, side and create just an actual border around here that's devoid of any of the white. I could go back in with, um, after this dries, I can go back in and put some stencil butter to outline the top. That's kind of pretty. Thanks for the donation, Rocket Sauce. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Nice to see you here. Yeah, this one will look, I'm going to show you at the end, it'll look pretty. All right, so now that I've done some birds today, and that was one of the things I really wanted to do, I'm going to, um, there's one other set, that leaf set I've really been wanting to play with. So maybe I will feel inspired by that. I'll put these over here out the way. I, st I store my uh, lids in this little thing that has alcohol in it and then I turn it over and it, otherwise these clog, I don't use them enough to um, keep them clear. Okay. How many, um, there's that electrical wire one. How many uh, channel members do we have here right now? I know we have Jan and we had, um, sorry, Cheryl, I don't know if you can see that. We had Noreen, I don't know if she's still here. Two members here, okay. I'll probably just send each one of you a little treat, a little um, stencil treat in the mail. If you contact me, uh, Noreen, I don't have you, or maybe did I talk to you this morning on Facebook? I might have your information. I love this. This is a pretty gel print. Of, I'm going to try the transparent over this one because I think it'll be really pretty. You can also use like, um, you know, one of these little sponges. These makeup sponges come in like a hundred, a pack of a hundred, and they're really easy, um, cheap to buy. Do they label the Montana water-based spray paints as opaque or transparent? Yes, they do. Like this one is semi-transparent and it will literally say when you buy it, white semi-transparent paint. And it looks gray, so it's not even, um, and actually I was just thinking this might look really dramatic. So if I use the semi-transparent, it's going to look really soft. And if I use black, it's going to look really dramatic. So I think I'm going to go for the drama on this one. I don't think these will blow away. Oh, I just found a little piece of the stencil I want to pop out right there. Um, I don't think these will blow away, but I'm going to try to hold it down a little bit better than I did on the last one. this process is one thing I do know it's very sticky 
So once you get your finger in it, you can almost use your finger to just lift it straight up. And then now I'll have a ghost print on here too. So. If I turn this over and roll it off, ouch. Then I'll have a pretty print of this. Woo, I love that one. I had a feeling that was gonna look pretty with black for whatever reason. It's like a two-for-one deal. Ooh, that turned out great. I do see a little couple pieces of this stencil that I didn't pop out that I should have paid more attention to. Okay, not pretty. Two-for-one. Two-for-one. And then if you have any left over, you can just roll it off like that. And it comes out on the deli paper. And then you have cleaned your stencil. For me, that's just the easiest way to clean them. Since, but I don't use a ton of stencil. Like, I'm just kind of getting into stencil use. There was a long time I didn't use any stencils. So, isn't that pretty though? Oh, Gina, she was coughing. That sucks. And everybody I know is sick. Knock on wood, I haven't been, but I know it's, it's going around out there. Okay, look how pretty. You know, this um, or this would be inspiring to create one of the boxes that I create, the lids for one of the boxes, and I could see myself doing some white outlines or some embellishments. It's really pretty. Aww, I'm sorry you guys have been sick. That sucks. Um, well, let's see. Where are we at? It's 1147. I think I'm going to do a short one today. Um, I appreciate you guys coming. Look at the, this pretty bird. Now I'm gonna turn this one into a card. I'll just put it on a card stock. And um, like I said, I'll probably outline it and do some things, do some other things to bring it forward. Here's the original one that we made. These stencil butters dry really fast, but not so fast that I could show you how to do the burnish the burnishing but this you know this one is gonna actually it'll be pretty after I get done with it I'm pretty sure um, anyway just stay tuned to my channel and uh, Facebook Instagram and you'll see more and more of these stencils I've already done quite a bit like I said I I did my little if for those of you who weren't here in the beginning I did my little bird um, using the stencil and I did my lady, let's see, I did my lady using Susan's uh, portrait stencil, and so that's another one I did. So these stencils are really fun to use, and I hope you guys, um, Thank you, Gina. Yeah, the 500 deli papers, that's, that's the way to go with that one, I swear. It's, it's awesome. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for coming, everybody. And um, if, you, if you contact me, if you're an inspired member, there's a couple of them there today. Contact me, and I'll be giving you a little, a little giveaway treat. And for those of you who want to join my channel, you can. So you can be part of the little special perks. And... Um, also, thank you, Susan, for your beautiful designs and Mariah for showing up 
Um, I'm especially not feeling great. That's really sweet of you to come. And all of you, I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. So thank you so much. Bye.